Welcome, everybody. Wow, this is awesome. My name is David Ahern. And my name is Adi Bachchan. And we are the co-hosts of Yes and Yoga on Prime Video on Amazon. For those of you guys who are wondering what Yes and Yoga is, we have combined the tenets and philosophies of the improvisational comedy technique Yes and with the ancient art of Kundalini Yoga to create daily habits and practices that we can all use to improve our lives. So what we're gonna talk about today is daily habits and how we can add to our daily habits to improve upon our lives. Because here's the thing, in improvisation, in the world of improvisation, we strike the word no from our vocabulary. The reason why we do that is no stops progress. What we do is we replace it with a technique called yes and, where we accept ideas, we accept what the universe gives us, and we build on those ideas to create this vast potential where anything is possible. Because when we say no, what happens is we, we create the illusion of control in our minds. But what we sacrifice in exchange for that is the word yes, which is where all possibility lies and all manifestation lies. Now you're probably wondering, well, how in the world does yoga and, and meditation come into that? Like, how do, how do those connect? Well, they connect very easily because the same philosophies are there. In yoga and meditation, it's about being in the moment. In improvisation, it's about being in the moment. In yoga and meditation, it's about acceptance. It's about flexibility. It's about adaptability. Same thing in improvisation. What we come up with together is far better than anything we will come up with individually. So what we're going to do today, we're going to take you through a series of a couple of practices, and we're going to take, add a couple things to our daily habits to make our lives more efficient, more creative, more productive. So what I want you guys to think about, just for a second, think about the first five things you guys do when you get up in the morning. It could be anything. It could be brush your teeth, get out of bed. Checking your phone, checking your email, text messages, social media. Think of what's the first thing you do when you wake up, or even first five. That's yeah, right. The first, first five, five things, things you do when you wake up, and just kind of put them into your mind. Okay, so now what we're going to talk about is, you know, all the time we always hear, got to be in the moment. Be in the moment. Well, the minute you start thinking about, I got to be in the moment, you're out of the moment. <laughs> like, I just lost the moment. Where'd the moment go? The moment's gone. <laughs> So here's what we do. How do we get into the moment in yoga and meditation? We do it through... Through our breath. Through the breath. The breath. That's right. So we're actually going to practice an easy breath technique. And so if everyone wants to, go ahead and you can close your eyes. And this breath is going to be done all in and out of the nose, okay? So we'll go ahead and close the eyes. You can leave your hands relaxed on the lap, palms face up, palms face down. Or if you want to have the thumb and index finger touching, you can. And this breath is going to be done in and out of the nose, okay? And what we're going to do is it's a three-part breath. And we're going to inhale first for five seconds, then hold the breath for five seconds, then exhale for five seconds. And I'll walk us through it the first couple times, and then after that, carry on yourself, okay? So with the eyes closed, let's go ahead and exhale our breath out. Then inhale through the nose. Two, three, four, five. Hold the breath. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. Two, Three, four, five. Hold the breath. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. And keep going on your own. So keep going with it. Whenever you breathe like this, we're getting down to four breaths a minute. And when you get down to four breaths a minute, you have an enhanced mental clarity. Okay, very good. Now that's awesome. Now and just relax your breath. Now we moved into the moment. Relax your breath a second. Okay. So while you guys are sitting there, you guys can open your eyes, close your eyes. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, just sit with that for a moment and think back to those five things you do right away when you start the day. What I want you to do is for those five things, think and, and try to be as objective as possible and be as honest with yourself as possible. When you think of those five things, if you think that it positively impacts your day leading forward, put a plus sign by it. If you think, mm, maybe, maybe it's not the most positive thing, put a minus by it. And if it's neutral, if you think, well, I got to brush my teeth, so I, I don't really have that strong of a feeling. Keep in there. We're going to probably keep, keep it, it in keep there. Keep it up high on Just kind of put a zero by that, because that's kind of getting to the state of zero or the neutral state. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and, when you, and as you think about those, now what I want you to start thinking about is, 
When people come to you, and this happens all the time, uh, when, I was, when I was about about three years ago, I had this idea, because I'm an improviser and because I come and speak about yes and all the time, I said to myself, I had said no to one of my children about doing something. I said, no, nah, I don't want to do that. You want to go for a bike ride in the park? No, nah, I don't, don't want to go for a bike ride. And I stopped myself. I said, why am I saying no to that? And I made a deal with myself that for one year, I would say yes to every single thing somebody brought to me that wouldn't hurt me or hurt them or cause harm at all. If it wasn't going to hurt me and it wasn't going to cause any harm, I would say yes to it. And I wanted to see where did all these yeses lead, okay? So when we're talking about daily habits and when we say yes to things, she and I are going to do an exercise real quickly. This is called Yes And. This is the fundamental foundation and philosophy of improvisation. What's going to happen is she is going to say any declarative statement. It doesn't matter what it is. My job, my only job is to listen to what she's saying. I'm going to listen to it. I'm going to repeat what she says, and I'm going to build on it. Now, I'm not allowed to change the idea. The only thing I'm allowed to do is build on her idea, and we're going to see where it leads. Because in improvisation, we don't know where we're going. We only know where we've been. And the only way to have change in your life is to change a habit that you've already done. And you have to say yes in order for that to happen. We have to try something new. So she and I are going to do this. And then I encourage all you guys to bring this back to your life when you do it. So you can, any declarative yes. statement. I booked us a trip to Tahiti for tomorrow. Yes, and because, you, because I booked us a trip to Tahiti for tomorrow, we're going to fly there first class because I upgraded. Yes, and when we fly there first class, we're going to have an, a, um, what's her name? Doesn't matter. Flight attendant. We're uh, going to have a flight attendant that also gives us free, she has a free gift for us. Yes, and because she gives us th this free gift, it's a free excursion to do parasailing once we get to Tahiti. Yes, and once we get to Tahiti and do parasailing, we end up making friends there that we know in Texas. Yes, and because we meet these friends that we knew from Texas, we decide to start a parasailing business there so we never have to move back. Ooh. Look at that. So so, <laughs> thank you. Three people enjoyed that. Thank you, ma'am. Now, what does that teach us? Neither of us said no. And in fact, when she, she uh, for a moment, didn't know what to say, there are no wrong answers. Anything she says is 100% right. So what I ask every single person in here is, what would happen if you knew every single thing you said was 100% right, it was going to be supported and built upon, and we were going to come up with that out-of-the-box, happy accident idea that normally wouldn't happen? Well, here's the deal. We have to be that person. We have to be the person that when, we, when somebody comes to us an idea where we meet it with enthusiasm, we build on it, and we treat them like an artist and a poet. So now we're going to go back to daily habits. Think back to your daily habits again, and maybe think if any of you have a minus sign, wonder if when you got up in the morning, instead of doing one of those minus things that you may not feel is as effective, you replaced it with a 90 second or two minute breath where you move into the moment. It okay. helps It helps you have mental clarity and really bring out your best self. And when even in the world of impro improvising, you want to bring your best self forward for the group. And that's so right. that's an easy way, a technique where even if you're thinking your life, you know, what can I do? Just breathing in the morning, it'll put you in a different mental space and really draw out your natural gifts. That's right, and she's 100% right because it's my job in improv to make her look good. Mm -hmm. It's her job to make me look good. And when we both make each other look good, guess what? We rise together. That is the philosophy of yoga. When we do our work, our personal work, when we do the, the hard work, personal work, day in, day out, guess what? We become our best selves, and then we deliver it to the world, and then we help the world become their best selves. The word God could be broken down to generate Organize, deliver. We generate with our practices, with our daily habits. We organize them throughout the day and we deliver them to the world. So now think about another one of those minus signs. What would happen if instead of having your knee jerk reaction to everything be saying no, wonder if you changed your habit to being one of yes, where instead of saying no, you start to say yes to the possibilities. Look, everybody at some point in your life, you are going to have to say no. I understand that. I don't live in a utopian world where rainbows and butterflies are always flying around me. What I ask you to do is make it a considerate no. 
For instance, if somebody comes to you and they have an idea and you've tried it in the past and it hasn't worked, listen to them. Listen to what their idea is and realize they have a need that's not being met. That's, they have something that, that they're not getting they need. So what you do is you, you dig deeper and you find out what is your need that you have being, not being met. And then you can find a yes and solution to coming through that. So we take our habits, we add a 90 second breath to it. We start to make our reflex to be saying yes to the possibilities. And let me ask you, what happens to your day then? Because we have had a daily practice of more than a thousand days where we get up every day and we do yoga and meditation. And if somebody had told either one of us four years ago, in four years, you're going to have a TV show on Amazon Prime Video, and you're going to be standing here and speak up, we both simultaneously in your face, would have laughed at you. <laughs> but the thing is, is that it changes your life because when you change one or two habits, you change the course of your destiny and you have the capacity to do it. You have the capacity to do it by making a couple of incremental changes and you get yourself into that positive mindset. And that's why we encourage you get into your breath in the morning and get into that positive mindset and see all the infinite possibilities out there because there are vast possibilities. But if you're closed off to this universe, you're not going to see them and you're not going to capitalize on them. So that's our encouragement to you. Our encouragement to you is to change a couple small things incrementally. And guess what? In this room of people, can you imagine if each of us changed one of our habits for the better? And then we took those habits out into the world and we affected one little kid. We held the door open for one person and made them happy for one second. That's how you transform the world. And it all starts from inside here. And that is what the yoga is. The yoga is making this inside here more powerful and stronger so you can deliver it to everybody else and you can lift everybody else up. I need her, she needs me. It's not, one is not better than the other. It is yin and yang and things she is so great at, I'm not and vice versa. But you know what? In those moments when we need each other, we lift each other up because we're stronger as a team. That's yes and yoga. That's the power of community. That's the power of change. And we have the power to change the world today. Every single person in this room can be that change. My name is David Ahern. I'm Adi Bachchan. And we thank you for having us. And we really hope all of you tune into Yes and Yoga. We think it can transform your life. Thank you for almost clapping, ma'am. That was impressive. <laughs>